With the traitor Zarin and his fleets continuing to run rampant across the Empire, the Emperor has commanded the newly promoted Admiral Thrawn to bring an end to this insurrection once and for all. To this end, he has given the Admiral a new base of operations over the planet Eriadu, the homeworld of the late Grand Moff Tarkin. From this base, Thrawn will command the entirety of the 7th Fleet in its operations to hunt down Zarin's forces and eradicate them. Thrawn himself has personally requested your transfer to his command in light of your continued exemplary service to both him and your vital role in saving the Emperor in the recent battle over Coruscant. Your first task will be to help escort the Admiral in the Victory Class Star Destroyer Stalwart from Coruscant to his new command waiting in a nearby sector, the newly commissioned Imperial Two Class Star Destroyer Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf is holding station along with several support ships and a fleet of convoy ships filled with supplies and personnel for the new base. Much of the Seventh Fleet is already waiting for us to arrive at Iriadu, so we should receive a warm welcome. You will be flying the TIE Defender designated Kappa-1 along with a single wingman. Though we don't expect any opposition along the way, Zarin still has huge numbers of TIE Advanced under his command and has been using them liberally to perform hit and runs on Imperial installations and ships, as well as scouting around for intel on our forces. The Admiral is trusting you to take care of any such threats. We know that Zarin still has several high-level spies within the Empire, which help give him critical intelligence on the disposition of the Empire's fleets and resources. In the coming weeks and months, the Order will be fully devoted to rooting these spies out so we can take this advantage away from him. Stay alert, be mindful, and serve the Emperor above all others. The Emperor has commanded Vice Admiral Thrawn to establish a base of operations for the 7th Fleet over the planet Eriadu in the Sesuera Sector. Much of the 7th Fleet has already arrived at Eriadu and we will soon join them. But first we must escort the Admiral from Coruscant to his new flagship, the Imperial Two-Class Star Destroyer Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf is currently waiting for the Admiral to arrive in a nearby sector along with support ships and a convoy of freighters carrying supplies and personnel for the base. You will escort the Admiral to his new flagship and keep away any potential prying eyes from Zarin's forces. Once he is aboard, the fleet will jump directly to Eriadu, so the Admiral can officially take command. New countermeasures have been loaded. New countermeasures have been loaded. Star Destroyer Stalwart. You are cleared for jump. Good luck, Admiral. Admiral Thrawn, this is the Star Destroyer Grey Wolf. We are standing by for your arrival. Acknowledge, Grey Wolf. My transport is launching now. Capo One, please initiate your patrol around the fleet. Alert. We've got contacts. Enemy TIE Advance jumping in. This is 2. Order acknowledged. Using your target for attack. Just a handful of them though. Looks like a scouting party. They're coming in fast from several directions. K2, attacking craft dead ahead. 
Kappa One, intercept them. We cannot let them get back to Zara in any intent. Lord King Tai is to assist you. Now transferred my flag to the Grey Wolf. You may initiate your jumps to a riot base.
report to the debriefing room at once. To all personnel within the Seventh Fleet, this is Admiral Thrawn. We have successfully arrived at a raided base and I have formally taken command. We face a difficult task ahead. The destruction of the traitor Zarin. But I have no doubt that we will be up to the task if you all perform your duties diligently and with efficiency. This will not be easy. The enemy has both a tactical and technological advantage over our forces. He has the freedom to strike when and where he pleases. He has the bulk of the Thai advance fleet under his control. But I promise you, as I study and understand this man, this traitor to the Empire, he will not succeed. It is only a matter of time and patience. In the meantime, assignments will soon be forthcoming to all fleet personnel as we begin our operations. That is all. The Admiral wanted you to know what we will be up against so that you are under no illusions of the threat we face. We know that, according to our estimates since his coup attempt, Zarin has at least 15 Imperial class Star Destroyers, a dozen or so Victory class destroyers and interdictors, and upwards of 200 support ships, ranging from corvettes and frigates to light cruisers and carriers. Whilst this is only a fraction of the true strength of the Imperial Navy, the hundreds of Thai advance craft in his possession and his mobility allows him to be a serious threat to the stability and security of the Empire as we witnessed with the attack in the Omar system. Our fleet cannot be everywhere at once, and to concentrate our forces in any one particular location leaves our other areas too vulnerable to attack. That's not even counting the continued threat of the rebels, who have a substantial fleet of their own that we must also contend with. In another recent development, Zarin has also managed to capture a Tycon class battle station. This huge mobile facility can house up to a dozen Imperial class star destroyers at any one time, so it will likely become the nerve center of his fleet's operations as it will be crucial for maintaining and repairing his fleet as his campaign continues. Perhaps the only bit of good news here is that Zarin despises the rebels just as much as we do, so there's little chance at least that the two sides will be working together. We have no doubt though that the rebels at least will probably make full use of the distraction that Zarin presents our forces to carry out further acts of terrorism. As we expected, Zarin knew of Thrawn's transfer to the Grey Wolf and his assignment to Ariadu. The timing of the enemy scouting party was so precise that it only proves the level of infiltration within the Empire that Zarin still enjoys. Given the size of Thrawn's fleet, we are certain that some of these spies will be among his personnel so that he can keep close tabs on the Admiral and what he's up to. We will speak again soon.